All right, I've previously disconnected the uh, fuel line and I'm gonna try and tie this thing off up here so my funnel doesn't fall. And we're gonna turn, there we go. Turn this on and let the gas drain. It's uh, less than half a tank, so I should be good with a five gallon can. All right, so gas is on, draining. We're gonna walk around and grease everything. I need to check the tire pressures. So let's get started. This one was a little dry. here this one is leaking this one's gonna have to be replaced but that'll be a project later on okay I think that's all of the fittings back here sure all right that one's got that that one's good a little shot right here None of my rear tires have the calcium in it, so I'm okay. I don't have to worry about it resting.
Nothing on the high side. There we go. We're on the low side. We got some there. So we're going to add just a little bit to it. All right. Let me grab a quart and we'll add some to it. And I use Napa SAE 30. So I got about a half a quart here, so let's see if half a quart will do it. And I think the gas tank is finally empty. So we're good. I'm sure there may be a little bit right there at the very bottom that's going to drain out and it is hopefully not too much Not too much, but that's why I'm outside. It'd be okay. This came with a new fitting, but before I install it, I'm gonna make sure my old one fits in there. Yeah, I think we're gonna be okay. All right. Should be the same thread. Yep, same thread. All right, I am going to use Teflon tape as a thread lubricant. This is not a sealant. This is just to make sure that the threads don't gall going into the tank.
Okay, that's it. Now, let's hook up the fuel line. Alright, I've already added one quart and I've got another quart sitting there because the oil is dirty. So, and I've got a little bit of seepage here, so uh, I'm going to let this drain and I'm going to uh, clean up. I've got to get over to the house and do a couple things. So, I'd like to thank everyone for tuning in and watching me just go over the tractor and trying to get it ready for the plow day in a little over a week. And if the good Lord's willing and the creeks don't rise, I'll see you at JT West's Plow Day. Have a great afternoon from Old Red Tractors.